Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerds UK and welcome to another episode of Washi Wednesdays and this is episode 5. So I am going to use this washi tape book um, from the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy collection and it's just been hanging around in my stash and I've been doing nothing with it so um, I thought I'd create some frames using washi tape. Now this goes absolutely crazy with um, the colour explosion in terms of the colours that are in this kit but I absolutely love the um, the finished article as it were. So all I'm going to do is create four frames on my white cardstock background um, using this washi tape so I think each of the strips in this book are um, a completely different design and colour but obviously because they're all from the same collection they match so I'm just choosing carefully some solids, um, some dotty ones, some stripy ones, just to vary it a bit. And I do prefer, I do prefer like a messy torn edge um, with the washi. So I'm just sort of tearing them off at either end. And there's not really enough left just to keep a scrap. So those are going in the bin. So um, I don't bore you too much with um, with doing this. I'm sure you can cope all right with uh, with creating a frame out of washi tape so I'll just show you the second one that I create now um, I don't know if you can see in the middle of the white cardstock there is a little mark um, and that is just my guide mark for um, the sort of middle of the page so I know where to put my where to put my frames so there's a lot of pink and red on this layout and a splash of black here and there so I stick with mainly those colors um, on this layout and just the last one to go down here and then we'll move on to the next bit of the layout so because we had some black and white on the left hand side of that frame I also mirrored it with some black and white on the right so here's how the frames finished so the papers that I have chosen they're also from the fine and dandy collection it's one that I've done a couple of layouts with but um, then it's just gone by the wayside because other collections have come along and um, it's great for um, birthday or celebration uh, layout so I've used this paper first of all because um, I'm scrapping photographs from my 34th birthday from last year and I didn't actually have a selfie um, on my birthday and I didn't really do much. I, I went to work. That was pretty much it. So my layout is um, of photographs that I took of um, the lovely gifts that my colleagues bought me. For my birthday, I was super excited to receive the Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette, which I was um, desperate to get. And they bought me a lovely bunch of flowers as well. And then I was saw, uh, I was sent a meme, which I um, which I'd saved from my birthday, and I thought I would scrap that along with the photographs of the gifts because I didn't have I didn't have a photograph of me on my birthday, which um, which is quite a sad state of affairs, really. But hey, as you get older, I think you um, you tend to sort of don't not celebrate your birthday as much well I certainly don't um so yeah I'm just going through these papers and all I'm doing here is I'm cutting different sizes of square so I think I've gone with a, a three inch or four inch or four and a half and a five and I'm just layering those um over over the top of each other, just alternating the um, the papers. So I've used that solid pink, the red polka dot, the pink, red and yellow stripey, the one with the balloons and the one with the candles. So because I've used those um, candle and the um, balloon papers, hopefully you can tell that this is designed to be a birthday layout. So I wasn't quite happy with the... A couple of these layers so I'm just going to cut into a couple more I think I wanted a bigger um, pink one yeah and I'm just going to cut that one down 
so with with this layout there's no there's no right or wrong um in terms of the how the paper layers sit um here's the meme that I was telling you about I absolutely love this which is why I saved it on my phone um the only problem is if you've got a selfie then your uh, selfie printer you you will feel my pain because it tends to cut off um a lot of the edges and this meme was right up to the edge of the um edge of the paper but I made it work so what I did here is when I've layered those papers underneath the um underneath the photo it's um it's just taken up all of my frame so I just trim it down and I relay the papers back underneath again and I'm much happier with that so I just commit to it and I'm going to stick it down so I do lose quite a lot of the frame underneath that one but the washi tape is just providing layers underneath my um I say my photo it's not my photo underneath my meme my picture so I'm just doing the same again with um, that second one and the same again with the third and I'm just turning them to the left and to the right um, so they're encroaching on the washi tape frame and just adding my photos on top And this layout came together in, if I'd have played this back real time, the layout came together in 40 minutes, which is pretty quick, to be honest. So if you look at this and think that's taken hours, no, it's not. It took me 40 minutes in total. So in the um on the in the paper pad there was also this sheet of banners and of course these were begging to be fussy cut. So I chose a couple of them that I liked the sentiments on and I just cut those out and I'm going to use these as um, banners just over my photos. So I think I'll go with three of them in the end. Uh, this one that says this is my fave and that is on top of the sweet peach eyeshadow palette. Um, the pink one that says regret nothing, and that's on top of the meme. And the little one on top of the flowers that says today is your day. Now a bit of a story about the photograph of the flowers. They, the photograph itself is very, very blurry. Um, it was one, I'd left the photographs, uh, the, the photographs, I'd left the flowers at work and my colleague had sent me um, a WhatsApp showing me my uh, my sad flowers sat in a um, in a mug of water um, that I'd forgotten to take home, and the photograph was quite uh, was quite blurry. So what I did was I sort of zoomed in um, and printed the photograph on um, I can't remember what size it was now three by three, um, and it helped to sort of not draw attention to the fact that the the photograph itself was was quite uh, a lot out of focus. So because it was my 34th birthday, um, I thought what better than use the numbers three and four for my title. So those came from the same, well, they came from Dear Lizzie, but I'm not too sure if they're from the same collection. You could probably help me out with that one. I do like Dear Lizzie stuff, but I, I don't always keep up to date with um, with her collections. So I'm just adding a bit of wet glue onto the back of the chipboard, onto the back of the wood veneer and onto the back of those little banners just to help them um, stick down. And I'm just coming in with some puffy heart stickers in pink and in the red to match the colours that I've used here. These are very inexpensive from eBay, just tap in puffy heart stickers. And I think they're a pound fifty a pack. They're an absolute bargain. You have to wait for them to come from uh, China, but well worth the wait. So I'm just adding in the last final touches here, and there's just some tiny word stickers from um, from Tim Holtz, and I am pretty much done. Just adding one to every single one, and I'm finished pretty much. So I do thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very shortly for the next episode. Bye-bye.